Hello friends, Antonio here one more time for you, wishing everybody a happy new year 2012. I hope your 2012 is off to a great start. Today I'll be showing you how to make homemade tamales made from scratch. I'll be showing you how to make beef tamales and cheese tamales. It's really easy. Let's go ahead and get started with the list of ingredients. You're going to need some pre-cooked shredded beef. You'll need Monterey Jack cheese. You'll need salt. You'll need baking powder pickled jalapeno slices, you'll need pork lard, chicken flavored powdered bouillon, you're going to need tamale flour mix and tamale uh, husks or corn husks that are dry. Okay, so the recipe that I'll show you today it's going to yield about 48 to 52 tamales. That's about four dozen tamales. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you do is uh, open up the pack of uh, tamale husks. They are dry, so they need to be soaked overnight, okay? And this is what they look like. They're very brittle. They can't be used this way. You need to soak them. So what I like to do is I place them in a bowl, and because they are so dry, they're gonna float to the top. So go ahead and place a heavy item on top of the, the leaves and let them soak overnight. Okay. Um, into a bowl, go ahead and place nine cups of the tamale flour mix. Okay, so go ahead and get that ready as you see here. And into that bowl, you're going to incorporate some other items. The other items will be eight cups of chicken broth. It is prepared by putting into a pot eight cups of water and eight teaspoons of the powdered chicken broth. Go ahead and dissolve that into the warm water. Next into the bowl, you're going to place uh, four teaspoons of baking powder along with two teaspoons of salt. Very well, as you see me doing here. Next, the item that I don't really like, but it's a necessary evil, as they say, because pork lard just gives the tamales a tremendously good taste. It's not very healthy, I guess, but... I just haven't found any other way to give this tamales a, a better taste. So here's the little one pound uh, block of lard that you're gonna use. Go ahead and break up the lard and put it into the flour mixture. Uh, break up the lard into the small small pieces like that. Okay, now see, uh, right here I have my pot of uh, chicken broth which has been uh, dissolving and it's lukewarm or kind of warm. Uh, it's in medium heat, so go ahead and get that all dissolved and that's going to be placed inside the bowl uh, with the other ingredients as you see me doing here pour it over the lard and the lard will um, melt itself and start to incorporate into the other items as you see me doing here again the lard's not very healthy but there's a saying in spanish that goes una vez al año no hace daño <laughs> for those of you spanish speakers it, you know what i mean but it translates into as long as you don't have it very often, it's probably not too bad. <laughs> okay, you see me here incorporating the masa, the mix, the flour, uh, the dough. It's going to look like that. Make sure you incorporate everything very well. And it shouldn't stick to your hands once you're all done incorporating all the, the dough. Okay. Next, go ahead and take one of your um, corn husk leaves that's been soaking overnight. And place an, an amount of uh, dough into the leaf. As you see there, it's about... A small handful, spread it over, put a slice of cheese along with a slice of jalapeno pepper, wrap it and fold the bottom just like you see there. Oh, you just made a tamale. How wonderful. <laughs> okay, here you see me uh, using the uh, some red sauce that I have on another video which you may check out how to make. And basically I pour the red sauce or salsa roja into the uh, pre-cooked shredded beef. This will be used as the filling for the beef tamales. Same procedure, go ahead and take your, your corn husk, uh, place a small amount of dough, and then put the uh, shredded beef on top of the dough. Go ahead and wrap it up, and as you saw there, there's a good bunch of tamales going. Next, go ahead and place, uh, go ahead and get your uh, uh, a big pot. It's a stock pot that has a screen at the bottom, which allows you to boil items. You just Put water at the bar very bottom, put this place the screen over it, and go ahead and start placing your tamales with the open end up, standing up just like you see me doing here. 
what that's going to do is uh, it's going to steam the tamales, and that's the way they cook. Uh, they're going to cook for about, uh, I would say, two, hour, 2 hours and 15 minutes. And what I like to do is I like to place a damp kitchen towel over the tamales uh, while they're cooking. All right, so you're going to go ahead and turn on, turn on the stove to medium heat. You're going to let those, again, steam for about... Two hours to two hours and fifteen minutes. Okay, so that's uh, uh, looking good so far. Great, we're almost done here. Okay, so it's been about two hours and fifteen minutes, and here's what my tamales look like after they've uh, been uh, steaming. Uh, as you see there, there they smell great. Believe me, folks. And uh, you ask yourself, what are you going to do? What am I going to do with so many tamales? Well, you can give them to neighbors, friends, family. They will appreciate it. And they're really tasty. Here is uh, two of the cheese tamales. You can see the cheese oozing out of there with the uh, jalapeno pepper slice. And believe me, folks, it's really, really tasty. Uh, go ahead and uh, in the morning, what I like to do sometimes is uh, get a cup of coffee and uh, enjoy a tamale or two. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. If, um, if you have any questions, Please feel free to ask me, comment, rate, subscribe. I'd love to hear from you. And again, Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, let's make this year a great year. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.